Pilk. Yo! Yo, alright mate, how you doing? Yeah, I heard Monster hooked you up with some drinks and that now, that's well sick. Yeah man, they sent fuck loads, so good. Well, you know what time it is mate. It's crack a body o'clock! Crack a body o'clock! Hey, crack a yeah! <laughs> Pumped. Yo, guys! Welcome back to another video. If this is your first video you've tuned in on, can you just hit the subscribe button? And if you're a viewer of mine and you watch a lot of my stuff, can you hit the thumbs up? Let me know you're here. I'm now heading up to the garage right now. I've got a couple of little bits I need to do at the garage itself, like not on the cars. Then I have some stuff I need to talk to you guys about, like where my head's at with all the builds and that, because this last five days has been expensive. So I need to get to the garage, get to the cars, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's chat when we get there. Woo! They are heavy. Woo! What's in the box? I hear you say. So today I got into work and I was like, yeah, I'm in work. This sucks. Like, actually, no, work's actually quite cool. This place is a dump, and I'm, we've got a new uh, skit to follow. Anyway, back on topic, what's in these boxes? So, the super rad guys at Monster over the last few weeks have been in touch with me, taking me places, saying hopefully we can do stuff together this year. Yes! Oh my god, look. Hang on, let me show you. Look, at all the goodness. Mm, and they sent the purple ones. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys like may have clocked it that I'm not a huge fan of many other like big brands. But one I always have like pumped is Monster because I just think the way they do everything is so sick. Like they're all just super rad dudes and like I just love their ethos and how they do stuff. So the fact that they wanted to work with me sometimes this year and they've got like me sending me drinks and stuff. It's just so cool to me. You know, I'm gonna obviously I'm a big advocate of this stuff anyway, I love it and uh Everything in moderation, but I love it. But look at this can and how sick it looks against my Sylvia. Yo! Match made in heaven. So yeah, super stoked on this. Thank you so much to the guys at Monster Energy. Alright, so other than the, like, the super like dope monster like boxes of stuff I've received today. Parts are slowly arriving for the EG. These are only like... So, oh, do you know what? I thought my fucking key for my Sylvia. For fuck's sake, Adam. The parts have been arriving. We've got my rye wire ground kit. Now, I actually have one of these somewhere here, but I've lost it. New one for the whip. Then I've got bitch pin and oh, an air belt. Now, these are the last little things I think we needed to get this thing to the point where it can go to the body shop. Stoked on that. God, it's all slowly come together. But, and there is a but. This has been an expensive few fucking days, man. And I'm, this is like coming from the heart. Like, these are like the final little stack of EG parts. And then, that's going off. Now, I was a little bit worried because, as you can see, the car doesn't have windows in it either at the minute. But, Tyler, who seems, I've actually met, met Tyler a few times, absolute fucking legend. He's messaged me saying, dude, if you want your windows put in, let me know. I'll come around and sort it out. What a fucking legend. That's gonna save me a few pennies. This is got. This is why we're going back to the body shop. I'm having a metal, fixed metal bung put in here. That's all structured underneath as well, so it won't flop in the middle. That's what's going in there. I need it painted. I need to speak to Nick about this rear bumper. I don't know if we're going to get the whole thing redone. I might just chuck it on and drive the bollocks off the car. But it leads me to this. Now my brain is all over the place. Like I said, it always is. I'm one of these guys. Like I know you. I know a few people out there think I've got too much stuff going on, and I, I, I probably do for your average person. But if I didn't have all this stuff going on. I, I would. I'm not gonna lie. I would. I would have all this stuff going on. This is how I work. I do this every single day. I always have a million things going on and all that sort of stuff. So, right, let's talk BMW, shall we? Now, this car, I said it was sentimental value and shit, but the car itself isn't sentimental. It's the money that I paid for this car. So, when the trailer caught on fire, I'll shit myself thinking if the car isn't fucking insured anymore. If it goes up in flames, I've lost all that money. I haven't got a drift car. Well, obviously, now I've got two drift cars, and this is just kind of sitting here. And I have had it up for sale for fucking ages and not one fucking person has been serious about buying it and it's really like 
it's so fucking cheap for what it is. A genuine 3 to 8 IM sport. Um, I know it's a bit rough. Let's not fucking beat around the bush. I'm not, I'm not fucking trying to say it's some mint bitch. I just kind of thought, well, it's sat here doing nothing. Fuck it. I might as well fucking try and do something with it. So, at the minute, it's got a small cave diff in. And this is what I'm going to ask you guys now. I don't know if I'll actually be able to do proper track days in a car with a small case welded diff. So if someone could leave me some advice down below, like, would it be okay to drive it around a track, like, with a welded diff? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really want to buy an LSD or anything. So what my plan was, was to look for a 328 big case diff that no one wants, chuck it back in, and then have almost like a standard 328 to use at a few track events, like track evenings and stuff. So let's talk Civic, because I know this is probably, this gets most views out of all my build videos, which is cool, like it's my oldest build, I know everybody wants to see this done, and it is close now, man. Like, going to the body shop, like I said, to get that done, and then we'll get it back, and we'll obviously make sure it runs fine, have the windows put in, roll cage in, dashboard in, seat in, I am gonna only run one seat for a little while, because I'm gonna put the other one in the Nissan. Um, I might put that crappy bride in this just for track days and then if we take any shows I'll chuck the Recaro one in the spare so it looks good, but the main I, I, I'm not a show car guy man Like I'm just not like this big show car guy Like I like going to car shows walking around and then going home like more often than not I've tried to just go to events dump my car in the car park walk around and then go home because I don't, you know, my cars, I do genuinely build them for my enjoyment. As, as you may be able to tell with YouTube, like, I know the, the Nissan, a lot of, it gets a lot of love now, but it still doesn't get the views the Civic does, it still doesn't get anything like that, and I think that's a fucking cool car. Now, something happened with the other night. I had Sam Smith come down, not the singer Sam Smith, this, this guy, Sam Smith. He came down and did some photos of my aubergine coloured Nissan. Now, the photos came out Amazing, he's only showed me one so far, but it's come out amazing. And as I pulled it out of the garage, I noticed there was a leak, and I was like, So, got it out, had a look, took the intercooler, all the intercooler piping and stuff off. I did it, you know, basically. Look, I rang Lewis on the phone, I was like, Lewis, help me. <laughs> basically, I emptied it all out, and there was a little bit of water in the intercooler, but there wasn't any in properly in any of the parts, just a bit of condensation, so I was like, mm, fingered the fuck out of the, the, uh, inlet, the inlet manifold, and it was just dry as a bone in there, I moved the throttle body in, got my fingers in, and it all seemed fine. So, what I think was, I drive it home in that gnarly storm that I obviously didn't even want to film <laughs> on the car, so I think that was it, I think that was what it was, because I turned it up like that, and it just went, Vroom. it was like this. So yeah, it was pretty wild. I have got some new brakes for the Sylvia. I need to go get them off Morgan. In fact, should I go do that now? Yo. Jesus Christ, your signal is fucking terrible. I'm, I've got 4G and full signal, mate. Well done, mate. I'm right next to my router. I actually do. Look. This what? is... Are you at your house? Yeah. Can I come and get my brakes real quick before you go out? Yeah. Okay, cool. See you in a sec. Alright, in a bit. Bye. Where's the fog, bro? Where's the fucking fog, man? There's literally not a cloud in the fucking sky. It's a fucking deal with the fog light, bro. That was fucking shocking. Yo. What's going on? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, uh, Cheers, Morgan. Like, comment, and subscribe. No, you fucking dickhead. I'm just saying goodbye to you. I'm not right. on the end of the video yet, you Get tosser. Fuck off my property. Okay, so yeah, I am off your pro public road, bro. <laughs> Let me set the scene, okay? So, so we were playing Xbox at like. 1 a.m. and I was like just on that like oh man I really want to buy some brakes my Nissan the hydro doesn't work fucking probably is shit he was like Alexandra Law's selling some Alexandra Law's this guy he was like he's selling some so I was like oh fucking sick <laughs> I'll buy him that sounds like a fucking brilliant idea you know when you're like super tired you're just like oh man oh gosh definitely go to bed but you don't this is what I bought oh. Nissan 350Z Brembo's fronts. Nissan 350Z Brembo rears. Now I did absolutely no research into this before I bought them and I didn't realise that they don't bolt straight fucking on. So I only actually wanted the rears but the whole set was such a good deal I was like, oh God. The whole set was such a good deal I was like, oh fuck it, I want to buy the whole lot. So I did. And uh, vastly after buying that I realised how much of a mistake I'd made and I was like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> I just wanted to go straight on, what an idiot. I got too over, over, overconfident or whatever and I just 
fucking touch them bitches. But I bought them. I do need a couple of little bits. I need to get a new one of these. I think I'm just going to buy a whole new load. Yeah, so these are little pins that go across to hold the bait, the brake pads in. But I need to buy a new one of those. I think they're really cheap from Nissan themselves. So I'll just hold tight on those and just uh, I'll get them next month because I have run out of I've run out of expendable money this month. So so yeah, I've got the whole whole set. Pretty dope. I wish I hadn't fucking picked those up now because my hands are fucking dirty. Yeah, this is one of those catch up videos. Um, I'm gonna try a new format on here soon. I'm gonna definitely do another podcast sooner rather than later. But I'm also gonna try another style of video. So keep eye, keep your eyes out for that. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's just a video that won't cost me any fucking money to make, so it doesn't matter if it fucking bombs or not. I should have explained. Just to get those to fit, I found I'd, every like place that I had asked advice from were like, yeah, you're probably gonna need Driftworks Rear Geo set up, and I have not got the money for that yet. So what I have bought instead is off of a Nissan Silvia owners group thing, um, S15 owners group, like these little brake relocation brackets, and you run 370Z discs. Um, hopefully that'll work and it'll be a cheap solution. They're a hundred pound um, RRP, so yeah, if they work, I'll drop the link so for anybody else wanting to do that conversion in the video that we fit those in. But that won't be probably for a month or two yet. They're not um, an assess, you know, like a major thing that has to be done. The brakes do work on the car. I just wanted to upgrade them, so I just need some money so I can buy some brake pads, the parts I need for the Brembos. And also, well, yeah, that's it really. Brake pads and Brembos. Oh, and discs. I need new discs as well. So yeah, sick one. Um, is there anything else? I want to bounce, like, I'm going to bounce. Uh, also, receive the thread adapter. There we go. So I can fit that on the Nissan now, but I forgot the keys for the Nissan, so I can't do that. We've got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to try and fill this month up with as much fun con content as we can. Now I've, like, run out of money. <laughs> Trying to get this thing finished as soon as possible, really. Well, I say finished, I, I mean to the body shop. It looks sick though. What do you guys reckon? Are you proud of me for like how far we've got this now? Considering all those nasty fucking comments people were leaving a few months back. I can't wait to fucking get this car out on its first track day. And give you fucking middle fingers up to all the cunts that were leaving horrible comments. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys again soon. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.